In Chinese folklore, firecrackers ward off evil spirits. After the cleanse, they march. Welcome the Year of the Rabbit. We got to see like um, the lion dance and all the little kids that are dressed up. I love all the rabbit floats, so it's, it's great. It's the Year of the Rabbit. Yes, a lucky year. <laughs> Organizers want this event to entertain, but also to educate, from the floats to the lion dances. Mostly the dragons, the fireworks, that's, that's what I love. All the pageantry of Chinese culture and tradition were on display. Because my son, and um, he's half Asian, so I want to let him in, into the culture. I born in Shanghai, China. Liked all the coordinated dances by the schools. Even the rain, at times moderate, wasn't enough to dampen the mood. Thousands lined the streets of downtown San Francisco along the parade route that ended in Chinatown. We didn't let the rain stop us from having a good time and celebrating Lunar New Year San Francisco. This is amazing and this is one of the best parades that happens here. In fact, the parade dates back to the 1860s and it's now the largest Lunar New Year parade outside of Asia. California State Senator Scott Weiner, who represents San Francisco, says the parade is especially important this year. This uh, parade is incredibly important for San Francisco, for the Bay Area, particularly with all of the attacks and violence directed at our Asian American communities. Uh, we need to all rally around and link arms and show solidarity and have fun as a community. It seems like mission accomplished in San Francisco. Hudson <laughs> Hassan, ABC 7 News.